everyone. Eric from Country Living Experience. You know, I don't have a real shop yet. Well, it's at the new place that uh, we're moving into in probably a month, a month and a half, give or take. You know, there needs to be a few repairs done to the house that I just don't have the ability to do. Uh, leveling the house is one of them. Electrical work is number two. That's something that I haven't uh, had any experience with. Plumbing, I'm okay with, but don't get me near electricity because I just don't know. If I studied and learned, I'm sure I could take care of it. But anyway, I'm excited to have a new shop, but here, you know, in the, uh, in the rental home, it gets really dirty. You know, I'm doing a lot of projects. You've seen some of them. I've got some more coming up. And here, you know, I'm going to be putting together a dust collection system for you. It's very, very simple and very inexpensive. There's a lot of uh, dust collection um, pre-made kits that you can buy out there or expensive duck, duck, dust collection systems. Uh, but this <laughs> works just as well and it will cost you probably, give or take, 20 bucks maybe. On, you know, I'm just estimating here. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I'm going to be using. So I've got some PVC pipe, some two inch PVC pipe, and a two inch to one and a half inch neck down. And the neck down is for my shop vac hose. So we're going to be connecting this to our shop vac. This works uh, well with this brand of shop vac. It's a rigid shop vac, which is a Home Depot brand. And uh, so we got a couple of neck downs. We've got some clear soft plastic tubing. We've got two Lowe's buckets. Like I said, we got some two inch PVC. This one's cut to uh, 14 inches. This one is cut to nine inches. We've got a, just a piece of uh, nice uh, one by six here. We're gonna be using that to attach uh, into our bucket. We've got some Silicone caulk, of course, the trusty Ryobi, this thing never dies, amazing brand. We've got a Dremel tool, also never dies, amazing brand, I've had this for 12 years. <coughs> Measuring implements, got these nice little uh, clamps here that I'll show you what to do with. All kinds of cutting tools. Obviously, we've got a couple of bolts here, and I haven't decided which ones I'm going to use yet. To bolt this top top piece to uh, to the bucket here. I've got several different types of bolts. I'm going to figure that out as I go along. Screwdriver and a pair of pliers, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. And then you're going to need to obviously your shop back and to be able to connect to it. So, let's get started. Thank you. 
You want to seal this as tight as you can get it. So no air escapes and you don't lose any suction. You know, if you lose a little bit of suction, that's all right. It's going to have enough to do what you need it to do. Again, this is not a professional system, obviously, but this is a really inexpensive way to create a great dust collection system for your small shop. That's a really fun little quick and simple project. Alright, I'm going to show you the finished product here. And basically this plate stabilizes the top, it really holds in. This top coupling piece seals it all up. On the side here you just cut an oblong opening because this piece of PVC is going to come in at an angle. Run, run along the outside of the bucket to create cyclone effect. Right here in the side I've attached the uh, cyclone piece of PVC here with a rubber washer and sealed it on the inside with some caulking. So uh, we're not going to get any air leaks there. We sealed around this portion of the PVC. Pretty much sealed the entire thing up inside you can see there sorry oh sorry again wrong camera angle you can see how it comes in and it'll create the cyclone effect collecting the dust in the dust collector thus saving our shop vac saving the filter on the shop vac and uh, the shop vac is going to last you much 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 longer so on the top of our other bucket here, we have our, our rubber hose that we cut. We're just going to bring these two down on the top of one another here. It's going to create a nice seal. We're going to use those clamps that I showed you in the beginning. It's really going to create a very tight tight connection here between the two. So we're going to further increase our suction. I want to show you that our shop vac is totally empty. I'll show you after we're done how this works so well. We're going to really, really save this filter. Save the motor on the shop vac and everything. everything, all the dirt and uh, sawdust, saw or, uh, wood shavings I had on the ground collected nicely here in the bucket.
absolutely nothing in the shop vac. As always, we're excited that you've joined us. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Give us the thumbs up and the like on the video. We appreciate it. And click on the video on the right-hand side of the screen to see how we make our own leather axe sheath for our marbles small camp bags. Thank you and have a great day.